Well, Bob, the weather is beautiful out here as we wait to see the main event. That's right, Sean. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining, and we're ready to see some awesome skateboarding tricks. Let's move over to our first competitor. Ooh, let's see if he can recover. Look at this guy. What do you think when you see him? Uncool? Somewhat unsightly? Blue shirt? It's tragic. This was me when I was younger. Not me now, but when I was younger. And when I was younger, I became very influenced by the Tony Hawk Pro Skater video games. They were awesome. The tricks, the characters, the Neversoft logo intro. Gross. I thought skateboarding was so cool. Yeah! So I thought, if I became a skateboarder, then I would be cool. I mean, what could go wrong? Just get a skateboard, sign up for some classes, then I'm cool. It's easy. Oh, and plus, my parents were willing to do anything to get me out of the house, so... They agreed! On the first day of class, the instructor gathered all the kids around to set expectations. He talked about the simplest trick that we would be starting with, which was the ollie. He explained how to do the ollie and how to approach the trick. And then he said to not expect to get it right away because it took him a year to get it down. A year? I want to learn how to do the cool video game thing, not put an actual effort into a craft or skill over a long period of time. I have respect for people who put effort into their craft, but it takes me forever to learn things. It took me three semesters of taking Algebra 1 to finally not fail it. So learning how to do an Ollie is gonna take like... Uh... So I think this is gonna take too long. I don't want to learn the jump move. I'm not gonna spend my time learning the jump move. I'm gonna go learn by myself. What's wrong with a little initiative, right? So I get up on a quarter pipe and I set up to drop in. Ooh, I got the wind knocked out of me and then quit skateboarding. It may not be a noble thing to quit at the very first sign of effort or pain, but I think about it, and if I did continue to skateboard, I most certainly would have come out with way more brain damage than I already do, so probably for the best. Hey buddy, what do you think about dodgeball? Oh, uh, well I think that... This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network that keeps you safe online. There's many things these days, like the internet. Ugh. The internet is full of people wanting to know what you're doing without your consent. What you doing? Go away. Ooh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Kai! Ah! But with NordVPN, you can block those pesky trackers. Oh, Kai, stop! Ah! In addition to this, you can protect yourself from malicious ads or nasty malware. But not for me. I'm immune. Nah, uh Protecting yourself online is all well and good, but what about your other devices? Well, NordVPN's got you covered there, because then you can put on the what? Use promo code Ice Cream Sandwich to get NordVPN's two year plan plus four additional months for free. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Thanks, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. I love Dodgeball because mostly it's just easy fun that anybody can enjoy. Like that guy over there. You don't have to be good at all to play and have a good time. And I am certainly not good. Except for one time, I was untouchable. It was during a college dodgeball tournament. My friends and I signed up for fun, but unfortunately the first team that we were paired up with was really good. They were like the best dodgeball players I have ever seen. They had team organization and were really strong to boot. They were throwing balls like cannons and we hardly stood a chance. So the games were best of five and we had already lost two games at this point. And on the third game, I ended up being the last man standing. If we lost this, we were done. So it becomes clear at this point that this isn't for fun anymore. I need to win and also survive. When they saw I was the last man standing, they signaled to each other some kind of play. Like they had formations? I didn't know you could do that. What is he doing? Two of them started winding up and one of them was going down the center. I knew exactly what was happening. It was some kind of cage maneuver. Avoiding the two balls on either side of me will draw me towards the center, which lines me up to be hit. Not on my watch. I dodged their attack. Now if I can return the offense and keep dodging, I can pick them off one. They caught the ball and I was out. Was I only untouchable in that moment? Not for other parts of the game. 
Yes. Will I ever pull that off again? No. Was it awesome? Yeah. You would think because I was able to do that, that I'm like locked into the matrix and could dodge all incoming bald shaped threats. I wish. This one time in high school gym class, we were all outside playing some soccer. The other team had a pretty big power player, big for his age and ready to rumble. Our team had me, smaller, aerodynamic, wiggly. I was feeling pretty competitive and I didn't want to let the ball pass me. So I was committed to being the best defense on our team and I was doing a great job. I was constantly returning the soccer ball to the other side of the field. At one point, I see their power player tee up the ball. I felt like getting in the way of this one's going to be dangerous. He's a big guy with big legs, but I wanted to win. I had competitive brain. So I get in the way. Uh, oh, oh. It was a really meaty kick. I feel dizzy. I couldn't hear things for a second. I gotta sit down. You are sitting down. Abraham Lincoln. The power player felt really bad about it and apologized. I told him he didn't need to apologize. But by golly, did I think I was going to the other side for a second there. I sat on the sidelines for a bit as the game kept going. And eventually, I am feeling better and get back into the game. Uh, oh, oh. I am so sorry. Please, there is no need to apologize. These things happen all of the time, Mr. Lincoln. I decided that I'm not going to play anymore, and the teacher was fine with that. Uh, so I don't know why I was able to dodge balls like a grandmaster dodgeball player, but I couldn't survive a soccer game. Maybe it was a fluke. Who knows? All I know is if you sit inside on your computer all day, you cannot get hit by ball. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks for watching. Go long. Farther. Farther. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, a little more.